opportunity and stuff. Well, it's around the train and the zoo area, so they've kind of got it decorated up a little bit for Halloween and that kind of thing. So it's a, it's a good opportunity for color and some detail shots and stuff like that. So you're welcome to join us if, uh, if you don't have anything better to do between 11 and 2. Love to have you there. Uh, we're going to meet here uh, at the usual time, 11 o'clock, and we'll head over there by a photo opportunity and stuff. Well, it's around the train and the zoo area, so they've kind of got it decorated up a little bit for Halloween and that kind of thing. So it's a, it's a good opportunity for color and some detail shots and stuff like that. Uh, any other images in there? We're here at the Irvine Regional Park, uh, the pumpkin patch, as you can see around us. This is a little field trip for our digital camera class today. So we came over to practice a few of the things that uh, we've been doing in the uh, learning in the classroom situation, so putting it to, to use in the real world. So we've got a bunch of students from the camera class and some from our other classes that have come over to join us today, having fun taking pictures. Bring your pictures that you take today, pick out your favorite five or so. Um, put them on a flash drive, bring those back to class with you next week, and we'll take a look at what you got. But things that I would concentrate on here, um, depth of field, playing with your aperture to kind of keep, you know, foreground elements sharp, background elements out of focus. Consider working with a larger aperture. So you might want to shoot in, like, uh, aperture priority mode. Try that to start with. Um, there's not a lot of action or anything like that, so shutter speed, playing with shutter speed is not going to do a whole lot for you, so mainly playing with uh, aperture. You might want to consider some wide angle and telephoto uh, applications. Wide angle used really, really close up to pumpkins and things can give you some interesting perspectives. The longer telephoto um, uh, focal lengths can do some really cool things for your depth of field as well, and compression, background compression. So um, consider consider playing with aperture and focal length. That's probably going to be the main thing. Look at color. Fill your frame with color. Fill your frame with shapes as much as you can. Uh, try and get close to your subjects, that kind of stuff. So um, there'll be a lot of opportunities for textures and color and shape and all that kind of thing here today. Okay? So um, I will be here. You look for the hat. Um, I will be here. I need to head back for the next class probably by 1.30. So if you have any questions or anything, try and catch me before 1.30. But I'll be around, kind of wandering around. If you have questions about settings or how does this work or whatever, just look for me. I'll stay in the pumpkin patch area and I'd be happy to, to help. Um, last last time, did everybody sign in? Okay, we got, uh, and even for the non-photography class people, did you sign the waiver? The waiver. Okay. You need your tripod because it's bright enough to be able to use fast enough shutter speeds, but if you brought one... Today's a lovely outing. We get to see some children and some pumpkins, and I came specifically to get some pictures of texture. And I found a pumpkin with a whole bunch of bumps and, and things on it that really good texture, so hopefully that'll be nice. Come on, start too. Let's take all of us a picture together. Hey, where's the white cat? Why did they get the white? Learning today. Trying to take photographs during a time that is not really conducive to good photographs. Which is between about 10 to about 2 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock. It's not a good time. Take photographs indoors at the, in those times. Early in the morning or late in the evening, that's the best time. I, I'm learning about white pumpkins. <laughs> you, you remember, remember when the frost is on the pumpkin. Estamos aquí celebrando la fotografía del día. Estamos aquí en la clase de John. Estamos tomando fotos que a la vez nos van a ser más grandes y más productivos. Nos van a hacer mucho, mucho dinero. Thank you very much. All right, so here we are trying to take pictures. And we're learning the aperture today, depth of field. And the speech uh, uh, I'm already taking about 200 pictures. Hopefully, I will be able to take some good pictures and uh, share with you guys next uh, time we meet. As you spend more money, the sensors are better, so you can get you can get you can take pictures at a higher ISO. Uh, we are very blessed to have this education. Uh, we all have all these people together, good friends, good family try to make themselves better. Thanks to the college, thanks to the people, 
God bless America. Thank you very much.